Boys and girls, welcome to Ducks Pokemon. My name is Zach, but you can just call me Ducky. And in today's video, we are continuing on with our favorite Pokemon picker. Today we're going to be ranking Generation 5 Shinies, and, you know, there's a clear favorite here. I'm not gonna lie, there is a clear favorite here. That clear favorite would be Zorua. So, hopefully, the computer will get it right and pick Zorua right away. If not, we'll mess around, we'll see if we can get something really cool going on. Maybe we can trick the computer. But if you guys don't know how this works, I'm going to be picking out of this array of shiny Pokemon, and I will be picking uh, at most four in any given category, and it's going to whittle it down for us until we get ourselves our favorite shinies. This list is not definitive, so if you agree, leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you disagree, leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you have anything else to say, leave a comment in the comment section down below. It really, really helps out with this channel's growth. Y'all, I post two to three times a week, so just be aware of that. Just be eyes open, be cognizant of that. Uh, with that being said, let's go into the favorite comment picker. Of course, of course, of course. Ugh, anything in this. I got I got Scolipede, I got Excadrill, and I got Kiram. Boom. Easy. Anything on this page? Ooh. No. No. These are some very ugly shinies. I'm gonna pass. Ooh, I like Bulldore. I really like Bulldore, and I really like Zoroark. And that'd be it. There's Zorua. There's my favorite shiny. Gigalith is a solid number two. I like Stoutlands, and I like Maractus. Yeah. So Gen 5 doesn't have the worst shinies, doesn't have the best. I'd say it's somewhere in the middle. I would say Generation 1 has the best shinies, which is weird because Generation 1 didn't originally have shinies. They had to code them in. They had to make them, you know, after, uh, afterwards. Take the Sharp and Genesect here. Oh, and Chandelure. I love Chandelure. Anything in ra eh, No, no. I don't know. I think my, my CPU just crashed. My brain. I was just like, eh. <laughs> I'll take Bulldore, Braviary, and Scolipede here. This is a bigger generation of Pokemon, so we should have a larger sample size. Whoa, lots to pick here. I will just... Uh, I gotta I gotta pick these, because it's gotta weed out the rest of them. So I know I said I'm not picking more than four, I, but I, I'm gonna stick to it now. I'll take these three. I'll take these two. I'll take the- Ooh, I forgot about Embor. Embor's got a sick shiny. Just take those two. Alright, now I'm gonna start whittling it down. So I'll take Bulldor out of these three. I will take Gigalith out of- Ooh, I can't take Bulldor and Gigalith. I'll take- I'll take, uh, Zoroark. I'll take Zorua, of course. I will take Genesect. Oh, I like Genesect. I'll take Scolipede over Embor. I will take- Zoroark over, yeah, and I'll take Zorua, and it's gonna pick between Zora and Zorark, I'll take Zorua, that's my number one shiny, obviously, it's just so beautiful, it's just so beautiful, I'll take Braviary over Zoroark in this case though, I'll take Bulldore over Scolipede, Bulldore should be number two, I have a sweet spot for blue shinies, yeah, there we go, number two, Maractus or Kirim, I'll take Maractus, I'll take Braviary, I'll take Braviary again, I will take... Look at that, it's blue. It's blue. I'll take Braviary again. Number three, another blue shiny. Why? Why, Ducky? Why? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's take those two. Where'd Basharp go? Basharp. Oh, Basharp. Hello? I'm looking for ya. Nope, Basharp's like, no one's home. No one's home. I'm not in the favorite picker anymore. You didn't pick me. And I'm like, I'm sorry, Bisharp, I just want to be friends. Ah, bad shinies, go away. I love Stoutland. Ugh. Uh, Maractus or Zoroark? Oh, no doubt, Zoroark. I'm gonna try to get a non-blue shiny in here. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Alright, so number four is Zoroark. Another blue-ish shiny. It's like purple, but still, that's... That's aggravating. Okay, maybe Genesect. Maybe Genesect can make a comeback here. Or Maractus, you know? I would I'd like to see Genesect at number 5. That's my opinion now. I would like to see Genesect at number 5. Uh, no, 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 Genesect. 
Uh, I don't know how to pick between these two. I will take Maractus. Ooh, I'll take Chandel. The only thing different on Chandelure is that the flame is red instead of blue. Uh, Genesec, number number five. There we go, a non-blue shiny. Yay! I'll go to number eight just because. I'll take Gigalith. I'll take Bisharp. There you are, dude. Bro, bro, where were you, Bisharp? And it's gonna make me choose between Bisharp and Maractus. I'll take Maractus. It'll be number six. Scolipede, Chandelure, Bisharp, Gigalith, Gigalith, Scolipede, Bisharp. Ooh, Bisharp or Scolipede? I'm gonna go with Bisharp. So many blue shinies! Ah! <laughs> let's just go. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. I I am driving myself crazy with these blue shinies. So, uh, maybe Scolipede will be next. You know, the problem is Gigalith is so similar to Bulldore. Bulldore just pulls it off better. So I'll go Scolipede at number 8. Forgot about Stoutland. Stoutland's got to be on there somewhere. I'll put Stoutland in there at some point. There we go. There's Embor. Embor should make its way on the list. Maybe not. No. Undo. Undo. <laughs> no. No. Undo. <laughs> ah! I don't know why I kept doing that. That was annoying. None of those. I'll take Embor. I'll take Embor over Chandelure. I'll take Gigalith. Yeah, Stoutland. Stoutland. Be number eight. Or nine. Number nine. Jeez. Wait, undo. I'll take those both. <laughs> I'll take Stoutland. Alright, uh, I'll take Gigalith over Embor. I'll take Stoutland. I'll take Stoutland. Gigalith. Stoutland is number 9! Number 10 should be either Gigalith or Embor. If it'll give me... Yeah, there. I was like, if it'll give me the Pokemon, like, it's just giving me randos right now that I've never picked. Hello? There we go. Hello? Dude, what is going on? The favorite picker is not doing well right now. It is favoritepicker.exe has crashed. Okay, there we go, there we go. All's well, all's well. Don't pass. It's really gonna make me eliminate every Pokemon one by one. That's disgusting. There you go. That's our top ten. That is our top ten. So number one is Zorua, hands down, no doubt about it. That's number one. Number two is Bulldor, hands down, no doubt about it. Number three is Braviary, which, eh, Number two, four is Zoroark, eh. Number five is Genesec. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a this, put Zoroark at number three. A this, put Genesec at number four. Nope, Genesec's number three. Zoroark is number four. Braviary's number five. The Sharp goes over Maractus for sure. Ah, this is hard. This is like, you know, I'm now rearranging this. I'm looking at it. It's like Gigalith and Bulldore are so similar that I just can't decide between them, but... Here, I think this is our list. So we got ourselves Zoroark number one, Bulldor at number two, Genesec number three, Zoroark number four, Braviary number five, Bisharp number six, Stoutland number seven, Maractus number eight, Gigalith nine, and Scolipede ten. I agree with that. I would put Embor somewhere in there. Like, I'd kick off, I'd probably kick off G Gigalith and put Embor in the number eight slot, or nine slot. But it's like, there are so many generations of Pokemon, why does it even matter, right? So that is just about going to do it for the video today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Always, always, always do those things. It makes me happy, and hopefully these videos make you just a little bit happier. With all that being said, I'm Octodex Pokemon, and I'm out.